who's that colleague or who is the gallerist here? Are you or are you? <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. He's a dead he's Viking. Dead. I don't know if he's dead because as a gallerist he sold everything yeah. or because he didn't sell anything. Maybe he, <laughs> he looks like he had a good time. He looks like he had a good time. He sold so, everything and then he used the money. <laughs> exactly. Oh, oh you evening. think he already used the money, he drank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and well, ate. He's, he's a Viking. It's called The Dead Viking. And it's a work by Paul McCarthy. Uh -huh. Paul McCarthy is arguably one of the most important American artists. Yeah. Uh, he's known since the 60s to show the flip side of humanity, mm -hmm. to show the scatological side, to show um, the, the strange places from where comes the motivation of people. Yeah. And um, it's actually quite interesting because he is a performance artist and therefore this is a very performative work in the yes. sense that you can either you can you know, move it you can move it around so he travels with you he's traveled he's traveled well he travels uh -huh. he traveled with me from yeah uh, i guess he can travel from, himself but from 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 dallas to from dallas yeah. to berlin um, and i thought i would bring this piece because i made this exhibition called totentanz mm -hmm. uh, because i find that okay, there's yes. there's so much death around at the moment yeah. um, of course the death you know through covid uh, mm -hmm. the death because of the war in ukraine but also the death of democracy, the, the death, or at least, I don't know, I hope, uh, hopefully it won't be the death of democracy, but the yeah. death maybe somehow of the dream of mm -hmm. democracy. And the dying. The, the Vikings have this um, uh, practice where they will uh, build a ship and uh -huh. they will put the corpse on the ship, they will burn the ship, and they will send the ship out in the ocean. Um, and, 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 and somehow give back to a bigger power. And I find that we are a little bit in our society, in our Western society, a little bit at that point in between life and death. Um, so I did this exhibition, Totentanz, with the idea that you can either get depressed yeah. with what's happening. People apparently are getting depressed, a lot of young people, also the Umweltschutz and all of that yeah. side, on the one hand, um, also having to do with real death through COVID, through war, but also, as I said, the death of democracy, the death of dreams and so on. And I also always see people walking around this booth, either uh, being scared, what, yeah. what, what yeah. is going on or here? Or embracing it. Or also, yes, really getting yeah. some yeah. Uh, reviving yes. uh, energy yes. by seeing, oh, wow, there's something yes. going on. And, and, and this is something that I find very interesting, mm -hmm. is that how do you approach death? Yeah, do you, tons, do you dance, totem dance. Death. So this dance, yeah. you know, are you going to embrace it? Are you going to be scared of it? Or there's always this sort of, you know, touch and go. Uh -huh. And art actually is a really important and interesting element. How art survives the death of the artist. Yeah. You know, Van Gogh died. Van Gogh hasn't been alive um, uh, 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 as he is now yes. since he's dead. Yes. Yes. You know, everybody knows Van Gogh. Um, so this and is very interesting. So, and so, so this was the, the idea of this, uh, of this exhibition. So this very much symbolizes, yeah. because the dead Viking, is he dead, is he alive? And in so that he tells between, more about the exhibition than, yes, yes. He than informs anything else. Yes. The exhibition yeah. Canal. Yeah. Thanks very much. You're very welcome. For bringing him and all the yeah. artworks. Thank you so much.